Welcome back, 20 Years of Doom. I'm Temin. Is this, are we finally doing Doom 2, or is this something else? No, because before we go forward, we gotta go back. And before we go back, we gotta go even further back. This is a, a little game called Hover Tank 3D. You forgot to introduce ourselves. Uh, well, you're you did. We're waiting I on didn't. you. Oh. <laughs> Mr. Uh... Go on. Don't be shy. Do you... Is thing? there something we can call you? Coffee? Yeah. Oh, okay. I'm red. God, oh, there's me. God damn. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <clears throat> All right. Hey. So, <laughs> what is, why so didn't what you tell this? me we were playing Hover Tank 3D? I fucking love Hover Tanks. Oh, goodness, do so, I. Oh, oh, oh shit. Uh, <laughs> oh. Welcome to the year 1991 or something. Uh, um, I'll be honest. I have never heard of this or played this until now. Well, you still haven't played it, but regardless, um, this is John Carmack's first commercial release of a 3D engine under Softdisk Publishing. Uh, I forget the, the head of that guy's name. Whatever. Uh, the object is to uh, kill all the monsters and save all the hostages. <coughs> uh, I'm getting a bit lost because, well, not lost necessarily, but a little bit uh, out of sorts because it's a bit confusing. But listen, when we here's a here's a survivor. Listen. <laughs> Brilliant. Brilliant sound design from um, software software publishing. I'm not. I don't think Bobby Prince did the sound for this game, but I couldn't be sure. Oh God. So um, in order to beat the level, you have to save all the hostages, and I don't know if you have to kill all the monsters, I'm pretty sure you do, but I didn't get far enough to confirm that, so... Uh, these, these silly ass animations on the hostages remind me of Descent. <laughs> oh yeah, a little bit, yeah. Yeah, the spacemen were just waving their arms up and down, going, going like, help, help, but they weren't yeah. saying anything. The Descent's <laughs> just a ripoff of Hover Tank 3D, who knew? Oh my god. Or maybe it's the sequel. Now you don't oh just hover, God. you f hover, f fly. You, you technically still kind of just hovering in zero G. Right. Whatever. Listen up. Gate detected. Oh God. What the? Gate detected. <laughs> oh. Right, oh, that's what that was. Oh, I thought that God. was like some sort of weird <laughs> robot space fly. <laughs> Uh, what, is that us receiving money, or is that our boss giving us money? I, I, I'm not able to decide on, either way on that. These early 90s color palettes. These early 90s color palettes are killing me. Yeah. <laughs> Look, this is all they had to deal with back in the day. They, people didn't reliably have, like, normal video cards or whatever. It's not bad, it's just funny now. It's just like... <laughs> so, um... This is what John Carmack was doing before he got texture mapping to work. As you can see, we've just got... I suppose they're supposed to be city blocks, but they're literally just blocks. I don't know, this it's is pretty a huge abstract. fucking tank. I love it. Yeah. And the people are kind of big, too, in that respect, too. Hmm. Mm. You get the feeling the sense of scale is a bit off in this game. Uh... The people are just a representation of those tiny pixels on the ground that you're picking up. We're actually flying oh. a hover tank the size of the uh, the unbuilt uh, like mega tank that the Nazis were designing in World War II. So, so what what's happening is those are like cartoon esque magnifications of really small scale people. Yeah, man, I'll, okay. I don't remember the name of that tank. Just give it time. Well, you have you know, one minute and 55 seconds. You know, I'm not going to lie. I was thinking about uh, we're actually sitting in a hover chair with a very big gun. Oh, with Dr. Proton. <laughs> okay. In a oh. tiny, in a, and we're picking up your kids or whatever around the house from aliens. <laughs> Saving them from aliens. God. If, if you think that's what's happening, this is going to get real dark real soon. Oh, man. <laughs> Yeah, we're just some old just grandpa from the fucking Vietnam in a hover chair going like, Oh shit, there's aliens in my house. Okay, Come so Come on, that, kids, gotta take you to school. That scruffy looking gentleman is actually our son and he's paying us to babysit the kids. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. Are, are you saying this is all makes sense now? 
Are you saying this is oh, all God. one delusion? We're just shooting things that aren't there in um, our. Uh -oh. So, uh, a monster just killed one of our kids. Um, oh, God. Um, there they are. One They're of our grandchildren dead. is dead forever. <laughs> Man, this game. It, it's kind of. You know, oh. Dark. This is the real Metal Gear Solid 5. This is the way it was meant to happen. Snake also, in a I found, chair. A I found the chair. sprint key. Oh, oh God. God. I, I just watched it. one of our grandchildren die right before our very eyes. Or maybe you God. killed them. You monster. You know, either way, this this whole situation is completely effed. Look, we'll yep. just, you know... Gate detected. We, we did, and the gates are actually his long, fancy chair. His lazy boy chair, and he lays down to take a nap. And then he wakes <laughs> up, and his grandson shows up with money. Oh it's weird, though. It's kind of like son. Hotline Miami, because for some reason, every time we wake up, our son has, like, 20 more kids. But it's only been a day. <laughs> or maybe even hours. Look, I think this is in the future, and in the future, people can just reproduce like rabbits. Or their clone kids. Oh my god. Or maybe he adopts a bunch of kids and he gets kickbacks from the government. Oh god. I, I think we'll have ample uh, time to talk about the repercussions of cloning school. Oh! Well! Oh, they died. Wow. wow. Okay. Right. That's, hold on, that's hold on. the blood of all of our grandchildren. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> Came over. Oh, God. Uh, oh, what? Why? No. Right, so now we're gonna play Catacombs 3D. But first, we gotta play Pong. Oh, oh hello, Pong. It's been a while. I, it's just a thing that somebody decided to add oh. to the game, I guess. Oh, so this is where that. Cheese oh. and rice. I done goofed. Oh. All right. Eventually, I I, I get kind of sick of this. Really? Yeah. I'm just we're, we're just in a corner now. I you have more patience than me for pong then. All right. We're playing on hard mode. This is the first time I played this game. Keep oh in mind. God. Whoa. So. First off, we get these scrolls. These take up our one through six keys, which I don't kind of mess with because they're just hint most of them for, are hints for a single puzzle in the game. Are we, but yeah, are, are we playing as B.J. Blazkowicz's great great grandfather who had who was an albino for some reason? Probably. Look, this will this will all make sense later, but when we uh, get to the future <clears throat> and play a certain. Wolfenstein related video game I'd say that this is the man in the opening cutscene like oh, <laughs> oh no. yeah that could yeah. be no. um but okay. yeah, yeah. tying it so, all together uh, anyways this, they got texture mapping to work I was a bit wrong in Wolfenstein I said Wolfenstein was the first game where they did that but it was Catacombs 3D nice and uh so it's a very primitive version of the Wolf 3D engine and um kind of shows it's got like no doors or anything you can blow up walls which is a feature that wasn't in wolf 3d oh wow oh i, su I suppose i should explain the weapons also there are locked doors but you need keys um but yeah the weapon you're shooting magic missiles you can charge them you can see the charge on the right turns into a nuclear mushroom cloud but you can also just spam the button to shoot you know as fast as possible and nice. throughout the game you can get power-ups called bolts and nukes which the bolt is just a steady stream of fully charged shots for a few seconds, and the nuke is like a widespread of fully charged shots. Yeah, nice. like that. And then you have heals, which kind of break the game because, uh, well, we'll see later. But they fill you back to full health. We have a. Okay. Another thing I was wrong about with Wolfenstein is the face thing. This game had the face before it, although. Uh, uh, it's not looking around. So we're skipping way ahead because the levels are really same. You, starting at level 9, you get this kind of hub area where you uh, travel through and get scrolls for hints. And oh, here's a new what enemy. The? Oh, uh, nice. No enemy. Yeah. Wait, 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 wow. Wow. Yes. Did anyone notice that? The skeleton? Yeah. 
Yeah, you don't see his collarbone or his neck bone right there. Yeah. <laughs> you should have put a warning on this. Jesus, it the, scared me. Warning, there's enough bones in the human body to create a, a full skeleton. Wait, but yeah. did you do that one? Well, whatever. It doesn't matter. It's always good. Well, not yet, but when we get to Doom Part... This... I know where this is going in the chronology, and we're way <laughs> anachronistic right now. Oh, boy. <laughs> so, all scrolls two through five are all hints for that. It's the Hall of Doors, and it's basically, um, the door is the number of the council. The council has 23 members. Go to the 23rd door, moron. So, that, oh, that's that puzzle. Right. <laughs> and also, there's another one that tells us about a labyrinth. But here's an interesting level. It's got four... It's like a hub with four little uh, branches, I guess? Mm -hmm. Oh, and a new wizard enemy. They shoot fireballs. They're the first ranged character. All the way mm. into level 17, mind. So do we have an infinite supply of ammo, or...? Yeah, we can just spam this thing to no end. Also, notice my heals. You notice I collected them even though I'm clearly past max. Right. Oh, that's why it breaks. You can... Yeah, so... Yeah. yeah. It goes beyond the, the counter there, so I probably have like 20 or something right now. I couldn't even tell you. Also, I noticed sometimes when you're shooting, there's a little icon on the right side that fills up. What is that? Sorry. Say again. Coffee. Oh, I, uh, <clears throat> yeah, I'm, I'm, yeah, I'm, yeah. I noticed there's a little icon that fills up on the right side when you're shooting. What's that about? Oh, that's the charge. Um... Yeah, it's, it just tells you how charged your fireball is. It's not important because I never charge it. Because I can just, I can just control key. What? Nice. Just button mash. It, uh, you know. Okay. <clears throat> yep, you got it. You get the yeah. picture. And that's the most effective way to fight. There are bolts and nukes and secrets, but I can't find them. Beware the false gates. True way has no valuable friends. That's a valuable <laughs> hint for the penultimate level. <laughs> Got it. Do we, are we going to see the end of the game, or are we just... Yeah, surprisingly. All right. I get to the end of the game in this one. I was going to oh, play nice. it until I died once, but I didn't die once. Also, um, <laughs> uh, I'm just going to say id Software invented Dark Souls. Oh, I saw that. Oh, boy. <laughs> <sighs> They were really ahead of their game. To be fair, this is pretty much simulates an accurate depiction of what playing a wizard in Dark Souls is like. Yeah, just, you just run around, shoot magic missile, never die. Yeah, that's... <laughs> yeah. Okay. <It's, laughs> I'm dead serious. Me. Yeah, it's... It, it, it really, it, not kidding about the magic missile part either. That's all you do. I, I guess. Yep, this is the the real dark stool stools stool stool stools starts here. Stool, yeah. Yep. Dark stools. If I could talk so. correctly, that would have come out better. But whatever. Don't you have to see a doctor about that? Look, uh, you can't fix what isn't uh, broken. Uh, hmm, that doesn't exactly work. Anyway. Gray Look, souls. Yeah. Hmm. I'm sure it's gonna. That's that's Stop the next the uh, game uh, from software is gonna make Gray Souls. <laughs> Predicting it now. After they completed the Dark Souls trilogy, next is Gray Souls. So eventually we'll get to White Souls and yeah, heavy politics yeah, it's, and yeah, it's a it's a it's a it's a color gradient. Oh. Yeah, it's they they really planned this out, you know. They're like George Lucasing it. So, uh, it, what was the deal with Demon Souls then? Um, you know, I couldn't. I, <laughs> <laughs> I abandoned this metaphor. Very well. <laughs> so, is this the only level, and it's just one hub, and there's a bunch of areas you can go to? Oh no, this, this is level. This is level 17. Really? Out of yeah. So the exit, we just gotta go through all four doors, take the portal, then we go into the labyrinth. Oh boy! So uh, this level's kind of dumb, but you get a hint for it, and the hint is like, um, go right until you reach the X, and then follow the left wall. 
So that's what I'm gonna do. And it's really easy to miss the, the right turns because you have to blow up each wall thoroughly. But there's the room with the X-shaped stone, so I gotta start going left. Uh, maybe it's just me. Maybe it's just me, but it would seem really annoying if you didn't know what you're doing. It is, because I did this, this is like a second take kind of thing. Um, ah. uh, I did it before and I missed a single wall and I was like walking around for an hour trying to find it. It was Oof. not fun. Did you have to call up its hit line and ask for a hint book? Well, I called the Nintendo hit line, uh, but they were like, this isn't on the NES. <laughs> All right. Uh, we're in the penultimate level. Oh, hello. Nineteen levels, huh? Oh, okay. Oh, what? Right, gotta I gotta save. back, back oh, up. Oh. What the F? Oh. Yeah. I thought the game crashed. And nope. I thought that was, that was <laughs> no, no, be no. the end. I, I just gotta back everything up. This is dangerous business. Well, I figured since I got this here. far. Oh, Yeah, shit. like this thing. I, I'm pretty sure we saw this thing in Hover Tank 3D, but... This time we it did. takes like a million shots. Oh, wow. Huh. I had to launch like 50 fireballs into it to kill it. Yeah. Oh. Well, we aren't also... a hover tank anymore, so. Uh... Yeah, that's fair. It's also turning into a jump scare <laughs> simulator right now. Yeah, it's Just a, a bit. House of jump scares. Oh, sweet Jesus. Uh. God damn it. <laughs> Ooh. Also, so these guys. A... You know what I've noticed? Yeah. Sorry to interrupt, but. Go ahead. They kind of look like Hell Barons from Doom 3. I mean, Hell Knights, a little bit. Well, if they're painted a gray, you can kind of see it. A Adrian Carmack did do the art for both of the both games in question, so... Oh, shit. All right. Remember that uh, scroll that said the portal with no valuable friends is the correct portal? Uh-huh. So this is the wrong portal because it's got a bunch of treasure. Ah. See? Um... Yeah, I, I wasn't paying attention the first time I played that, and I ended up warping all the way back to, like, level 12 or wherever that hub was. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> so, yeah, oh. kind of pay attention to that hit, because it's a bit important. That's, Just that's how I got a second chance to uh, re-record the uh, Labyrinth, because I got sent all the way back. Yeah, thanks. So I just used the better take. <laughs> thanks, Carmack. <laughs> yep. Thanks, John. So I gotta find the portal with no um, treasure. It's, it's a strange game. Also, are you sick of this music yet? Because this is the only track in the entire game. Well, I, I was kind of the... digging it when the game first started, but by the time yeah. you're here, yeah. oh I mean... god, I just I actually turned up the volume a little bit to hear it as I go out. No, I think I like having my ears. <laughs> I mean. It's a four measure song, and to be fair, it's a pretty good four measures, but it's yeah. four measures for the entire game. So I, I think Bobby more Prince really phoned it in. Though. Though. The sound That's effects. true. Well, yeah, and at the bit, same time, maybe they were limited. I, I guess. I this, mean, that's... This, oh, shit. This song was used in, like, the Commander Keen games, too, so... It's uh, not only repetitive, it's recycled. Well then, I yeah. back my statement. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, really phone it in. Also, these guys take way yeah, too many Yeah, tickle hits. that demon. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, I, I hadn't seen it that way, but... Yeah, Watch you're kind of just like, God. you know, reaching out to him, giving him a little tickle, making a <laughs> really squiggly, wiggly, woggly <laughs> electronic noise. <laughs> he's not really reacting in a violent way, he's kind of just turning away like, Oh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Good God. This, this game got we weird. Do, we, uh, yeah, a little bit. Oh God, yeah. I almost died. I oh. had to end it there. This is like the equivalent of shooting a hell bear with a pistol at this point, isn't it? Well, except you have like, um, as fast as you can fire pistol. Which is a bit better, I think. I Slightly. Your fingers do get a bit tired, though. Alright, just gotta find the right portal, guys. I'm, mm. I'm on the case. I'm, I'm trying to find walls that blow up, but I keep running into dinosaurs or whatever these are. 
Proto, Proto Pinkies? Proto, Proto Hell Knights. Knights. Yeah, Pinky Knights. There's something in between, is what they are. Yeah. Oh god. So, this is actually part of a series, and it's like the middle of a series, too. So, Cat originally... Yeah, John Carmack oh, wow. had made... Uh, he had uh, given for soft, softness to publish, I think? When, like, he was a kid, he gave them their, his game Catacomb, which was like a maze shooting kind of game, kind of like Gauntlet, I think? Hmm. And, um... This is a sequel to that? And then uh, oh. after after the id guys left Softdisk, Softdisk made their own sequels to this game using this engine, but way worse rendering technology because the <laughs> FOV or something is really messed up. Uh, I probably won't be covering those because they're not good. Well, and also I would assume Carmack was not involved any further. No, he wasn't, so there's really no reason to. Yeah. Wasn't there one... Uh, that took place in a haunted mansion and it was really bad. Maybe? I don't At least one I of know. those statements is reliably true. The other is. Yeah, because I've seen screenshots of it and it was pretty shit. <laughs> Alright, guys, it's the final level. Uh, we're gonna fight uh, Nemesis the Lich Esquire, is the oh. boss's name. No, that no, was a very direct hint. Yeah, I. Whatever, I can take him. Please tell me you use speed up. No, we're gonna sit here and endure it. Damn it. <laughs> this is the true catacomb experience. Yeah, the real catacomb starts here. Yep. I like I love how they all line up. Yeah, I can't really do anything about the damage because they're all just kinda crowding around me. You can click faster. Or turn on turbo. Maybe if I had, like, a Gravis Ultra Pad or whatever that controller <laughs> was. Oh, yeah. Also, their punching animation reminds me of those Revenants. Oh, God. It's a so Revenant. They're, so no, they're, like, no. a horrible amalgamation of every Doom enemy in some way. Oh, my God. Adrian Carmack was way ahead of his time. Good God. Oh yeah, so this is going before all the Wolfenstein engine games, so I suppo suppose I should explain that series before we get there. Um, oh. Before we get to Doom, we're going to do all the Wolfenstein engine games, even though it's slightly anachronistic, but oh, yeah, here we are. The final no. boss. Uh, it's... <laughs> oh, so boy. I'm sure this guy has like a million tons of health. Yeah, you're right. You're also, he seems like he's in great pain trying to approach us. You should maybe just try and shoot us instead. <laughs> yeah, that's kind of the case with every monster so far, though. And he can oh, summon goodness. Hell Knights. Wonderful. Are you actually running out of heals? You are. Uh, yeah. Oh, goodness. Uh, I'm, I'm resorting to fully charging my uh, magic missile. And actually dodging. Well, this yeah. seems to work pretty well, though. Yeah, but, yeah, this this is way better. I, I'm just gonna... Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Got it. Oh, I popped damn. his Skeletor head. Alright, now where, how do I get out of here? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got it. So I, I killed the final boss, but, you know, you gotta uh, find the exit too. Oh, yeah, huh. They, they didn't have the BJ Blazkowicz running yeah sequence yet. Oh, so, um... What? Uh, what? Um, oh, shit. What? Uh, uh, um, um, uh, I, I think we should have read the manual. I it don't. It just ends. <laughs> uh, uh, um. Uh. Good God. The end. I thought I was gonna get some sleep tonight. Never mind.